of the Call of Duty community is really, really excited right now about the upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops 6 game. People are doing helicopters around, people are bricked up, homies doing backflips while being on a wheelchair, and apparently we're also hearing that this game is gonna be having the September 2001 mission. Yay, but before we get into this one, guys, I just want to remind you, okay, before you start assuming it, this is also that game, Call of Duty is that game, that also didn't left behind even the Teletubby skins. We even had the Teletubby skins in this game, guys, so I I'm just saying, man, like the video if you just hope for a good game, dislike the video if not, but wait for this one, roll it. At last. Wait and the absolutely it. insane thing about this game is that Treyarch, of course, have had four years to work on it. Apparently, yeah. Ravensoft have helped them with the campaign as well, which means that Treyarch would have been able to put more time into multiplayer and zombies. Okay. As well as, apparently, the game has been practically finished for two years, and they've yeah. been playtesting it for two years. This is something that we covered in the last video as well. It's it's like they're saying the game has been kind of ready like two years ago and they have been playtesting for two years. This game better give us a BJ or else, Bruh. okay? Like the video if you agree, bro. Which means that the game should launch with a boatload of content as yeah. well as there's absolutely no excuse for it to launch with a bunch of bugs. No other Call of Duty has had such a rigorous and thorough development cycle. And hopefully yeah. because they've had yeah. so long to work on this game, they've had enough time as well to put into Black up seven next year man what if like for the last two years these suckers have been working on these like teletoby skins <laughs> if these suckers have been working on the skins that I, then i don't want it man there is so much to digest though of course we've been getting all of these teasers surrounding cerberus which is the yeah. code name for the game and this seems to be a new organization now all of the teasers that we've been getting are dated 2024 so this is something happening in real time but the game itself is going to be set in the 90s slash mm. the early 2000s 2000s. This is confirmed now that the game. Lesson number 22. They're still gonna find a way to add the 90s Teletoby skins. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, just because you think the game is gonna be set in the 90s, that they cannot add BBC bundles, they cannot add Teletoby's bundles, you're wrong, wrong, my friend. You're wrong, my friend. They're gonna always find a way to uh, put in Teletoby skins, the BBC bundles, okay? But, wait for it, wait for Game it. is going to be delving into the Gulf War, like was previously rumored that the game would be called Black Ops Gulf War, but they've decided to go with Black Ops 6. At least some of the game is going to be tackling the Gulf War, but that is not going to be the only premise. Now, of course, we have been getting the Truth or Lies teasers, and more are literally coming out constantly. So by the time I have posted this video, there's probably going to be even more. But this seems to be the premise surrounding Cerberus. They seem to be an mm. organization, that is running news stories and putting up posters around the globe about the truth lies and yeah. the truth being the first casualty of war now we don't know who Cerberus is is this a new offshoot of Perseus is it them continuing their legacy is it a group against Perseus we don't know but this seems to be all happening on American soil however I want Crazy. to stress that although the teasers are set in 2024 it doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to have any sort of relevancy to the game itself and the reason why man more more than half of the it, it feels like that more than half of the budget is definitely gonna go in the marketing and the in the game is just gonna be like whatever right i, I hope not i hope that's not the case because this time I, I gotta be honest bro like the marketing is looking kind of fire the, the marketing is looking very very good and a lot of people are really really excited <laughs> i'm excited i'm excited yeah that's that's what i'm seeing right now happen around the call of duty streets i, I want to know your take though one in the comments if you're excited two in the comments if you're not letting your dogs out just yet though <laughs> Because a lot of people are letting their dogs out right now, and uh, yeah, man, don't let your dogs out too fast, guys. I say this is because for the Black Ops Cold War teasers, all of them were similarly set in real time, which was 2020 at the time. However, the game itself, of course, was set in the Cold War, and all of those teasers yeah. didn't really end up having any relevancy to the game, so please bear that in mind. However, I do feel like there's going to be more relevancy with Cerberus this time around, just because of the fact that Cerberus is literally the icon for the game, so it ties in directly there. So Cerberus are probably going to be the main antagonist in the game, and they've defaced the rush more presidential <laughs> statues as well as vandalized oh, all over the globe and i really in my mind i'm just imagining like the you know Cerberus, perseus just being like hooded up in like a teletoby skin that's like what i'm wondering right now i i don't know man i i just can't be the only one that L listen i don't got no problem with them having like teletoby skins but it's like when you start having teletoby skins and like the bbc bundles the, the friendly line and all that you just 
loses. You you would just lose a lot of people, right? Like, people, Sigas ain't gonna take you serious, man. Sigas gonna be Sigas, but Sigas ain't gonna still take you serious either, though. I like the teasers for this game because it's Feel all about like subverting you your expectations, which is a big theme of Black Ops. And a big theme yeah. of Black Ops Cold War was a lies on all sides, America and Russia. And they lies, were both guilty lies. of a lot of the same. And the newspaper article they have posted, of course, is parody. But everything surrounding the culture wars is very relevant to the world today and how governments, the media, and powerful people manipulate our understanding of the world into fighting amongst each other over True. what is often just misinformation to either distract from the actual issues at hand or to get us motivated to do something for their cause even though this is a subproduct of that yeah. so here's some big things that we know I, for black ops 6 so man like this menu looks way better than the actual call of duty menu like how sad is that like this looks so clean i wish like the actual call of duty menus were also like super clean like you got the latest news you press x and then you got like your vertical lobby you know back in the days that you know during like black ops 2 you had find the match create a class barracks leaderboards create a class uh kill streaks and all that like like that like a vertical ass menu right and you would on the right of you you would literally see like your id and then beneath that if you had your friends joining in you would see that and it was super easy and then like and now i should say they turned that into like a netflix uh, hbo not hbo but netflix but the bad version the the wish.com version of netflix sub menu First of all, Adler, Russell Adler, is going to be back and is seemingly going to be one of the main characters in the game. Of course, yeah. Black Ops Cold War had multiple endings, one of which he died. However, the canon ending that is being continued in this game is the one that is continued in the post-launch story where Adler does survive and he goes up against Stitch, of course. The story ends with Stitch basically planting sleeper agents. Perseus wow. plants sleeper agents brainwashed across the globe and in America. And whilst Adler kills Stitch, Perseus essentially win at the end of this game because Damn. their legacy their ideology will continue forever through these sleeper agents and through the ideology Crazy, spreading. Man. So it is Crazy. possible that potentially these sleeper agents could be Cerberus. Alternatively, Cerberus could be against Perseus. We still don't even know if Perseus are going to have any relevancy with this game. So Adler's confirmed back because Call of Duty have posted their official Black Ops 6 page. It doesn't really give much details and of course pre-orders will go live once yeah. the Xbox <laughs> Game Showcase actually <laughs> happens. But oh, on the text man. here is where it confirms that Adler is going to be back and it also confirms the Gulf War and some other It always is like that. They give us nothing. Oh, guys, pre-order now, man. Pre-order now and get the 2025 BBC edition. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> They, 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 this thing is gonna do that, or this time they're gonna be like, yeah, get the 90s BBC version of the friendly UAV Alliance, or the friendly UAV Alliance. You know what I mean? It's just, man. Man, <laughs> man, what are we doing there, bro? But, but listen, man, I do have hope that this is the year, guys. This is the year. I think they're gonna actually have a, <laughs> a good Call of Duty game. I cannot say that with straight face. You guys know. Sega say that every single year. And ever since, like, Sega Sora and Modern Warzone or that Doug dude, right? Nothing against the guy, obviously, but when he, I remember I still, his tweet still haunts me at night when he said, you remember when he said, Vanguard is top five Call of Duty game. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it was the, the top five Call of Duty games, but from, from the back, you know, from, from the downhill, you, you know, like top five worst. It was the top five worst Call of Duty Bruh. game. <laughs> I know some of you like skizzle, skizzle. How dare you say that? How you it's your best game ever? It's like, nah. I, I mean, listen. If you enjoyed it, that's different though. That's different. I'm talking about like objectively, right? Objectively, but gameplay wise, uh, I guess it was smooth, okay, fair. If you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it, right? But but other than that, objectively, yeah things going on but like i said it's not just going to be tackling the gulf war it will <sighs> likely be tackling stuff in iraq and other events in the middle east it will likely be tackling stuff with saddam hussein and potentially even bin laden and the yeah, reason why yeah, 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 yeah. what <laughs> no say you swear to god bruh no way yo Yo, honestly, what we thinking here, guys? Everybody, uh, grab your big brains here. Just come here, okay? Let's gather together, okay? One in the... Okay, no, I already said one before. One or two before, yeah. Um, 
yeah, do you want this in the game, yay or nay? Just simply put, yay or nay. Like, do you want this, yes or no? Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. I cannot say, like, the names here, I, I, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, so let's just say September 2001, because YouTube is very sensitive with that as well, and yeah. Why I say this is because a date has been found on their website, which specifically one, seems yeah. to be September 11th, 2001. Probably one of the most infamous events in recent American history. And this seems to be suggesting that this game could potentially be tackling 9-11. And I really don't know how Treyarch are going to handle this in a proper mature manner. I can't imagine they're going to literally let us fly the planes into the Twin Towers. Yo, imagine, like they imagine they do that. Bruh, yo, journalist is gonna, journalist is gonna be like asking for that to get censored. You guys remember when Modern Warfare 2019 was coming out? The hype was unreal at that time. I'm talking about before the game come out, right? Like I also remember making like tons of videos on the leaks because the leaks were pouring in, the leaks were pouring in. And, and there was a mission. If you have played Modern Warfare 2019 campaign, you know the very first mission when, you know, train goes boom. It's not necessarily the train go booms, but we have like the bad guys strapped up with like, you know, kind of explosives and all that, right? I, I cannot say certain words on YouTube, but like, uh, having proposal extraordinaires, let's just call them, right? <laughs> okay, let's just say Bruh. that. Yeah, the suckers that, that want to blow up and be sent to heaven and all that. Yeah, exactly. I, I cannot say more than that. But, but apparently that was going to be a playable mission, but journalists got so mad that they were like, nah, bro, like, remove this from the game, remove this from the game, and... I believe they wanted they, they did not want it to remove so what they did instead of making that a playable mission they turned that into a cutscene only so yeah that did get censored Bruh. in a in a way it got censored but still not like removed from the game because i believe that still had you, you know what be, without that i believe the story wouldn't be working the way they intended the story to work so they still left it in the game but how much of it was censored what i mean by this is that how long that was uh, supposed to be right that sequence but they turned it into like a mini cutscene, and before that, it was supposed to be a, a, a before before that, it was supposed to be an, a gameplay mission. So yeah, you, you never know, right? If if these things like, announced or confirmed that this we're gonna have that, I mean, the journalist is gonna get mad, and they're simply gonna remove it. And after all, I, I don't know if they're really gonna have that or not. I I mean, you're telling me I, like them having Teletoby skins and also having this bruh, like I don't know, man. I gotta say bruh, bruh, bruh. I mean bruh. bruh. This is going to spark the most insane controversy ever, even more yeah. so than No Russian in Modern Warfare 2. Now, the interesting thing is, or not really interesting, but the thing is, Modern Warfare 3 that we just had last year tried to make us think that they were going to do something similar to 9-11 yeah. from their trailers. Now, of course, that didn't end up happening, but it seemed like the marketing was trying to make us think that's what they were going to do. And I really don't know- We got the No Russian Wish.com version in Modern Warfare 2023, bruh. Like, suckers were like, this is gonna be- <laughs> Yo- <laughs> Activision coming back. <laughs> they, they finally got their balls back. Nah, bro, they ain't got no balls, bro. Like, and for having that September tw uh, 2001 mission in the game, bro, they need to have like titan titanium level balls. I don't think in this day and age they can do it, dog. They're not gonna do it, bro. They're not gonna do it. If that happens, that would be crazy. And that would boost up the sales like nothing tomorrow, bro. Like, absolutely. I don't know if Treyarch would tackle this subject at all, and if but they do not, tackle yeah. it, are they going to be doing it in a sensitive manner, or what? Because rumors surrounding this game is that they're going to be trying to tell these events in a more nuanced way, and they're going to be critical of all sides, instead of it just being blatant American propaganda like some of the past Call of Duties, and I think Black Ops Cold War did a good job of showing both sides, but Black Ops Cold War is an entirely fictional story. Everything we got yeah. in Perseus, whilst yes, it took some inspiration from the real world, with both Russia and America brainwashing people people but it was a fictional story and i wonder mm. with them tackling the 90s and early 2000s since it's a lot closer to real world events and also it's not even been tackled much in video games how they are yeah. going to tackle this how much of the game is going to be non-fiction how much of it is going to be fiction it'll of course incorporate fictional characters from the black ops franchise such as adler but are there going to be real world characters too like i said will we see saddam hussein will we see bin laden and i really don't know if like they're going to do some sort of mission where we kill bin laden like this stuff I 
I really don't know how it's going to be interpreted in the current world and in current society. I'm literally not even staying an opinion whether I want this or not. I'm just saying I really don't know how they are going to tackle this. Obviously 9-11 for example is so close to the real world events and there will come a point just like any point in history where people will eventually mm. move on and yeah. society doesn't really know where to draw that line. Yeah. I society don't know where to draw the line. Society rule number 22. Society don't even know what they want. Like, first of all, that's that's true. Or, or I guess society, or not necessarily society, but the Call of Duty players, I guess they want the friendly. <laughs> yeah, probably that's what they want. I mean, society might not know what they want, but the Call of Duty players know what they want, and that's like the the Teletubby skin. <laughs> <laughs> the Teletubby skins, man. Ah, we really doing this out here, guys. What we doing here, man? Eighty dollars, King Kong monkey punches, hundred dollar weapon skins, man. These suckers gonna go crazy with this game, though. If you're bricked up right now, man, come back to reality, bruh. I hope this game is good, and it has the possibility of being good. But still, guys, don't let your. I just go. really can't see them doing a mission actually involving 9/11, though. Maybe it's just yeah. going to be part of the background plot stuff we'll hear about within the cutscenes in the game, and then we'll move on to the aftermath afterwards without Maybe. it directly tackling that. But part of me thinks that they could do something weird, where, for example, they have Adler or they have someone else actually performing the terrorist attack under influence of yeah. the brainwashing that Adler. Yeah, just like how if you guys played Black Ops One they made Alex Mason to be the guy that they, they basically made it in a way where they wanted to make you believe that it was Alex Mason that actually sent Jeff Kennedy to to uh, to heaven right like uh, and he was the guy that assassinated the president yeah they, they actually made it that way so it, perhaps they can do something like that but I don't know if we're gonna have a mission if they do bro this is gonna be crazy like even I have to agree like bro like this is gonna be next level bro this is this is gonna be crazy. I don't think you guys understand. Like this is this is truly gonna be wild. I don't even know if there is any game. Could be wrong, but you you correct me if I'm wrong. But seriously, I don't think there has been a single game that had a mission of this uh, September two thousand one, right? Or, or I haven't even seen a game where it would mention or or in, in a way where we would have like the aft aftermath you know once the, the buildings got attacked uh and, and then after what happened uh, I, I don't think we have seen a game depicting that Me meanwhile we had so many movies uh made on that right but not a single game i can think of went under by Perseus and if that was to be the case of course that would be extremely controversial but yeah. Trek are not yeah. unfamiliar with canonizing conspiracy theories in the real world for example Black Ops 1's campaign literally yeah, ends one. with alluding that because of Mason's brainwashing by the yeah. numbers he goes on to kill and assassinate JFK and I'm not even yeah yeah th this is exactly what I'm talking about but you gotta understand that it was different times back then they had balls and they their goal was to make the best Call of Duty game every single year. Just one of the letter, one of the letter. This year we gotta make better. This year we gotta make it better. Make it better, better, better. But because back then we they these things didn't have the concept of microtransactions, right? These things didn't have uh, something like a, a Fortnite to rely on or copy from and make a battle royale from, right? Get yourself a victory royale today, kids. You know, they didn't have none of that and, and they heavily relied on the game being good so it would sell more if the game was good suckers gonna buy it if the game was controversial if they did some bad shit crazy if they actually upped it a notch it was it was gonna sell more so they heavily relied on that and you know what this is what made them take risks and when they took risk their games did uh, amazingly well and now what we're seeing is that while well, they don't have to care about even making a campaign uh like modern warfare 2023 i mean shut the hell up bro like that ain't even it is a campaign bro that that's such a ho horrendous piece of trash and such a horrendous thing that they did they just slapped on the fans face they clapped the cheeks without uh, asking your permission, Bruh. okay? They gave you that BBC treatment. I mean, literally, they gave us that BBC treatment as well. Uh, yeah, no apology. They pissed on our heads, and, and they said that, yeah, bro, don't look up, don't look up. It's just the rain. It's just the rain. Nah, bro, you need to look up. And the second you looked up, they're not every, not everybody, but a lot of people are not waking up. A lot of people started looking up, though. A lot of people, when they looked up, they saw they were goddamn pissing on your head. They were pissing on our heads now. 
So yeah, this is why a lot of people uh, right now are very much uh, pessimistic about Call of Duty, and rightfully so. But right now, I'm also seeing a lot of people be kind of shaking. They're like, "Hey, bro, this is the one. This is the one. You know what I'm saying? This is this is the one. This year, it's gonna be the best game ever. This game, <laughs> this is gonna be the best game ever." Yeah. So I'm seeing that, and I hope it is though. I really want a good Call of Duty game for once. Damn it, for once, for once, bruh. Like the video if you agree, bro. Even going to delve into all of the conspiracy theories surrounding Kennedy's assassination, but I'm just saying that Treyarch are not totally unprivy with doing similar in the past. And the thing is, Call of Duty have been putting all of these posters up around the world saying the truth lies in London and so many other places, and a lot of them have been in New York. In fact, the very first ones that were posted were in New York. Lesson number 24, only Treyarch and Activision lies. Which again makes it seem like 9-11 could potentially be a big part of the campaign, or at the very least, is going to be a big part of the marketing focus. Activision in the past have purposely tried to stir up controversy to generate hype for the game. They did it before Modern Warfare 2019, making us think this campaign would... It looks like that. I know this guy. I don't know, man. Maybe he's one of the viewers as well in the channel. Like, I, I just recognize the face. So, you know how we thought No Russian was the pinnacle? Yeah, Modern Warfare is going to make that shies look like Candyland. Yeah, Modern Warfare is going to make look like Candyland. Jesus. Jesus Christ. There is a mission where you play as Middle Eastern girl running with her family from Russian soldiers gun. Yeah. Gunning gun? No, okay, we didn't have this part, but we had this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Modern Warfare 19, right? But she wasn't gunning down the civilians. When she grew up, that's when she was. Nah, no, she wasn't. She wasn't. Nah, she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't. Or perhaps it was supposed to be like that? Uh, but nah, it wasn't like that after. It would just be so dark. I don't think it was as dark as they were making it out to be. They were saying it would be way worse than the Russian. That's what all of the media outlets mm. were saying. And it didn't yeah. end up being the case. So I could see them in the marketing making us think they're going to do something really yeah. controversial with 9-11 and then not actually doing not that. Actually doing and that it. is yeah. just a way to... It, it's the marketing. Like, they're gonna... There's so much uh, money involved in this one, man. Like, uh, and most of their budget is uh, in the marketing. The market gotta be the just the best, and this is why the game sells though. You know, it's like the game can be hot trash, hot garbage, but but their marketing is so good, and I gotta admit, bro, like this marketing is so good. Black Ops Cold War marketing was amazing as well, not gonna lie. And the game didn't live up to expectations and the hype at that time. I remember I was so hyped. The last Call of Duty game that I was genuinely super excited for, and even you know, this is why the homie Dalek. <gasps> shaking yeah that clip that you just saw that that is from the homie mr dalek jd who was like eh, eh, i'm shaking i'm shaking uh, it happened when he received that care package from activision about black house cold war okay Bruh. and black house cold war hype was just amazing and when the game came out it wasn't as good as what we expected but now looking back it's the last really good call of duty game and before that i guess uh, black ops 3 before that black ops 2 <laughs> before that i guess it would be black ops 1 and modern warfare 2 as well i also did enjoy the original 2011 modern warfare 3 game as well personally but uh to get people to buy the game and get people talking about it, get yeah. people angry or otherwise, just to mm. spread information about the game. Now, I do want yeah. to say, Call of Duty's marketing for Black Ops 6 has specifically said a dark new chapter of the Black Ops franchise begins. So again, yeah. that's potentially suggesting they may be tackling 9-11 and potentially mm. some of the other darker events. Yeah. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This literally just happened. Apparently, PlayStation has banned the woke stuff in one game. So we got some good news on the left though. People are now asking for skill-based matchmaking to stay in Call of Duty game and be added in X-Defined. I'm not kidding you guys. Check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.